up guys so today we will be practicing a few questions on the chapter electric current and its effects on the level of grade 7 it is a must for nso so let's start here's our first question so let's start in which of the following diagrams the correct poles of the electromagnet are indicated so for this we need to know fleming's law of uh, which is also known as right hand thumb rule in which uh, we have to align our hands like this align our hands like this and here i am rotating my hands like this means this is the direction of the current this thumb is actually the direction of the current so my thumb is pointing upwards which means the current direction is up and uh, uh, when I'm leaving my hand just like that and turning my hand like this it's an anti-clockwise direction this is actually the magnetic field so the direction of the magnetic field if the current direction is upwards it would be anti-clockwise so remembering this we also have one more fact that when we are doing like this this part would be the north pole of the magnet where the thumb is pointing so in this question let's try all those things if the wire is like this then the current is passing in this direction in this direction if we are doing then it's like this okay magnetic field is like this and the direction of the current is this way okay now we are going upwards so it goes like this okay and then again like this it is now finally we have to identify for this reason so our direction would be somewhat like this so doing it like this if you do like this then here this thumb is pointing this direction so the north pole should be here as i said the fact that wherever your thumb is pointing that would be the north pole for the electromagnet so the current is in this direction and I'm doing like this. So if this is the north pole, then opposite would be the south pole. But here you can see that south is here and north is here. But if you go ahead and see in the second option, in the second option, north pole is here and south pole is here. So this should be our correct answer. And now let's see why. Same way we'll mark the direction of the currents. So we have to say mainly for this region because this is the electromagnet here the current will flow through this conductor this soft iron piece or the electromagnet in this direction right so align your thumb in this direction after aligning it just uh, leave it free and spin it so you'll see it is going upwards and downwards and side the thumb where it is pointing in which direction this direction is going to be the north and just opposite to the north is south so this is north and this is south it's correct while in this option you will see north and north here so same poles for an electromagnets cannot be there so at one glance only you can cancel out this option next question which of the circuit diagram shown below is correct now almost all of it looks the very same but at first glance anybody can say that this one is wrong but actually this is correct now let's see why here I hope all of you know that this longer leg is for positive terminal and shorter leg is for negative terminal and in a battery these terminals should be aligned opposite way like alternate way plus minus plus and then minus it can go like this uh, how much ever power you want the battery to be with cells but lastly should be a negative okay last terminal should always be the negative one and here if you see at one glance only the last terminal is actually positive the current can't go like positive to positive so this circuit is actually wrong here if you see again the same thing is there this is positive this is positive but in between also there's a mistake minus and minus are together here at least plus and minus are not together but here two mistakes are there positive positive together and minus and minus together which is not possible so this option is also wrong now of course that's the correct one but if you see plus minus plus minus again plus and minus at the end and plus at the beginning 
and like this no minus minus no plus plus together so this one is actually correct the current can flow perfectly through this by following all the conditions now next one this is a bit lengthy question two electromagnets a and b are placed separated at some distance between them three compasses are placed between them such that such that the compasses shows deflection due to current in ab then current passing through a and b is these are the following options now first let's see this is a and this is b this is two electromagnets and these are the three compasses and their direction is mentioned like arrows okay now if you see the current surrounding b uh, shows the deflection in downwards direction while the current in b and the compass near b shows the deflection in upwards direction which means the current uh, the direction of the current is opposite remember that the compass has north and south it can it can show deflection by the principle of like poles repel and unlike poles attract okay and that's why if you see the direction of current direction of electromagnet b would be different uh, is different than a because the compass near it points upwards while a the direction of current is different because the compass near it points downwards so opposite direction we have two options for opposite direction next is magnitude now if you see the two compasses align in the same way of magnetic field can made by b two compasses while for a it's only one this is mainly because the current passing through electromagnet a is less powerful in magnitude than b that's the reason both the compass align in the direction of magnetic field of b because b has more current more high current high voltage current that's why the magnitude of current is greater in b than in a okay i hope you understood so 11th answer is c now now let's see last three questions in the given circuit fuse wire should be placed either x z or y so if you know fuse wire should be placed always with the live wire so uh on the live wire you can see x is there this means the fuse wire should be placed on point x we can't place it on z because fuse wire cannot go with the neutral wire neither with the earth wire this is the second last question if bulb x gets fused then what would happen answer is none of the bulb glows why because from here the current is flowing if this one is fused means the circuit is break if circuit is broken then none of the bulb will go as the electrons cannot come back and complete the circuit i hope you understand this is a very simple concept now for this we have to find the current through the conductor which is actually rate of the current flowing rate of current is actually total current which is in coulomb upon time taken okay so here to find the total current we actually have to multiply 6 into 10 power 24 number of electrons and each carrying negative charge of 1.6 into 10 power 90 so our final answer would go somewhat like this 6 into 10 power 24 multiplied into 1.6 into 10 power 1 minus 19 upon 10 seconds or you can say 10 power 1 now 10 into you have to solve this thing and put in the comments below bye